What's up, everybody, and welcome to my three takeaways episode from the interview with Scott Hamilton this last Monday. I hope you guys loved this interview as much as I did. I was just entranced. I was so riveted. Everything that Scott Hamilton said just it really hit home with me. It's, it's everything that I've been trying to learn about, and that's kind of how I felt um, about what I when I was reading his book. I was just so focused every single second with every single word that he put down on paper. I just wanted to scream it out loud to everybody, read this book, read it now, go. And I just wanted to move and act on everything that he was saying. So I hope you guys got a lot from this interview. Really recommend going to read the book, but I want to go into his three takeaways. Number one is commitment is everything. It's about the long haul. It's about the process. That's the only way the end destination is going to be worth it and going to be sustainable in the long run anyway. He talked about if you win the lottery, yeah, it's all it's great getting that lottery and you can do so much with it, but a lot of those people don't end up being happy. They end up feeling lonely. They're, they end up losing all their money because they didn't have that journey, that hard work, that commitment that it required to, in order to get it. And that's there's just so many different... Um, there's so much evidence of that in real life because if you're committed to something, no matter what obstacle... Is, comes in front of you, you're going to overcome it. You're going to just try to think of of how you can get away from it. So it's not going to be like, if I can do it, it's just how. And, and that's what commitment is. You're never going to waver about whether you're going to move forward with that particular thing if you're fully committed to the situation. Um, and, you know, he talks a lot about staying the course and not letting instant gratification hold us back from continuing and pursuing forward. And that's one thing he was kind of really worried about with uh, our generation, the millennial generation, is that instant gratification kind of pops up in so many different areas of our life. And when we don't get that, we think the process needs to stop. So we have to make sure that commitment is everything. Number two, it's not enough just to show up, but you got to show out. And that's just the showing out part is something that I throw in there. He didn't say that in particular, but I really love saying that when I when I teach my fitness classes, show up and show out. Because to me, it's super important to show up and that's a huge step, step number one. But I think the difference between someone who's good and somebody who's great is somebody who shows up and shows out. Because he talks a lot about showing up for things, but not being 100% present. That's what he used to do for practices. When he would do his figures, he wasn't 100% there. You know, he kind of lackadaisically went through them. He talks about people who go to class. They're on their phones the entire class. They don't actually get anything out of them. You can go to practice. You can just go through the motions the entire time. So people can show up and not get great results. But if you show up and you show out, that's where you get greatness. You have to go into these separate different things with intention about how am I going to improve um, get to go in with a game plan. Like he talks about making a lot of different things a game. If you go in focused on how you're actually going to get better and you devote your 100% mind, body, and spirit to that situation, that's how you become great. It's not just enough to show up. And number three, the victim mentality will always be there. And what he meant by that is that you'll never avoid all the negativity. You'll never avoid people coming at you or thinking that you're not good enough. You'll never outrun all the obstacles. You'll never go scotch three, scotch free through the journeys that you go through. But it's about embracing those things. You can't let all these different negative um, experiences or negative people who tell you you can't do things. You can't let that victim victim mentality settle in because of the experiences and the people. You have to let that be fuel. He talked about how when his mother passed away. It was all about him channeling that all the energy he had from that negative experience in a positive light, in a positive manner, in order to move things forward in his life, right? You can't let it debilitate you and let it cripple you from moving forward. You have to use that way because we're all unique. And that's what we talked about a lot. And that's something that I feel so passionate about. Everybody has different, uh, we have our own uniqueness. We have our own talents. We have our own convictions. We have the all, our own ideas and the things that we, we want to create in the world. And we have to use whatever energy we have to fuel those things. And I think a lot of people in our day and age, in our generation, I mean, is we want to be other people. We want to be like other people. We see so much uh, greatness on social media. And I put that in quotations if you're li listening um, on, the, on just the audio. Because those people aren't great. You have to realize that it's just your own story that you're going to write. Write your own story. Don't write somebody else's. Use your own uniqueness. Show up with your own purpose, your own passion, your own intention. Um, I know I went on a little tangent there, but I'm so passionate about you being your own person and not trying to be somebody else. So again, my three takeaways from Scott. Commitment is everything. Don't just show up. Show out. And the victim mentality will always be there. That last one to me is huge. I think a lot of people hold themselves back from doing what they want to do in the world because they feel sorry for, for themselves. They throw a pity party and they, or they think, oh, why me? So those are my three takeaways ending in three, two, one.
Let's go.